My name is Christian Benson Song. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of North Carolina in Greensboro. I'm in my fifth year and I'm working in Dr. Nicholas Oberly's research laboratory. Um, this is a natural product research lab, so we work on uh, bioactive compounds from nature. We characterize as a small and large molecules every single day from nature, mostly from fungi. So we use um, NMR instrumentation um, almost every day. We have multiple NMR instruments in our department as well as in our campus. And um, we work on elucidating structures from nature, uh, solving their structure, and eventually characterizing molecules that can be a drug, drug candidate one day to cure various diseases such as cancer and malaria. It just makes our life much easier. I'm pretty sure that uh, our department is not the only department who suffers with this problem of having the NMR instrumentation off campus or not in the same department. We have a four and 500 Joule and we have an Agilent 700, but the 700 is a shared instrument between different uh, universities. So it's actually across town. So it's more than a 10 minute drive, which is always a headache of, of uh, someone has to go there, someone has to use the software. It's a different software. We have to be trained on that. And eventually the way how we process our data is that we email the data back to ourselves and we come back to our laboratory and then we sit down on our computer in our laboratory and analyze the data. And you know, there's always the problem of having multiple people on the same computer because the license is a problem. It's only installed on one computer, it's a different software. Uh, with Spectrus GS, I can, I can open the data right there on the computer where I, where I uh, acquire the data in the other campus where I can go home, I can come back to the lab. There's no more, uh, no more uh, figuring out where should I analyze, what time or how. So it just makes my life much, much more easy. My initial thought, thoughts were, oh wow, this is actually much easier to use than I thought or I was expecting. Um, I was a little bit afraid when um, we got the chance to try out Spectrus GS. And uh, I remember um, you guys contacted us and said, hey, there's a demo video you can watch and then you can learn how to use it. And I'm the kind of person who likes to uh, likes to uh, explore by myself. So I told myself, oh, I'm not going to use the demo. Let's just see where we can get without it. And I was quite surprised how, how uh, nicely it unfolded and how easily uh, the user interface was. Usually when you, when you try to use a new software, it can be really intimidating uh, for people who are not in the field. Um, I'm a PhD candidate, so I use NMR processing softwares every single day. But some people who are just starting on the field they might be intimidated. Um, and I'm really happy to say that with Spectrus GS, it was the, actually the opposite. Like, uh, it was just a, just a really uh, cool experience uh, for the first couple minutes, as well as the um, overall couple months of using the whole uh, program. In terms of like uh, speed, I was afraid at the beginning that because it's a browser-based NMR processing software, it will take a long time to do peak picking or or uh, or um, just facing or any anything like that or re generating the reports. But in fact, it's it's the opposite. It's like almost instant. I never had to to sit longer than one second to do anything in the software itself. Creating the report is also in one or two seconds, so I had no issues with lags, no issues with, with anything like that using uh, home internet or university internet. So I would say that speed is, 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 is great. It's, it's exactly what I wanted. Uh, um, I love how I can customize my report. So it's definitely something that is not just a nice feature to have. This is a must-have feature and this is exactly what we needed uh, to customize how we would like to, to report the uh, processed NMR uh, spectra and um, in our laboratory we actually keep um, the pure compound, we have a, a lot of pure compounds, we have a pure compound library with more than 600 natural products that we uh, isolated and analyzed and we keep the uh, mass spectrometry and NMR data for each single compound and the reporting feature of uh, Spectrus JS allows us to, to generate reports that we can store in a way that if someone comes back a couple years later, a new student, and would like to take a look at the, the processed NMR uh, spectrum, uh, he or she can easily um, uh, look at these uh, reports that we generated through Spectrus GS and uh, understand what's going on. And I, I think it just 
it's just really great how you can how you can customize the way how you would like to report your 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 uh, spectra being it as a pdf file which is also really easy to download or uh, or uh, just another way of reporting your data and maybe transferring it to a PowerPoint. This is what we usually do, uh, export it out into a PowerPoint. So I, I like I like the reporting feature in Spectrus GS and I think it does everything that, that uh, our laboratory needs. One thing I really like is uh, you can uh, generate a table which tells you all the information about the experiment that was run on which, which, uh, um, which instrument it was run, um, how the, the uh, information about the instrument, the 500 instrument, what time, um, what was the uh, solvent used, and generally these are the things that if, if I would like to uh, report something later that can be published, I need to make sure that all my 1D or 2D data is on the same instrument. And in some softwares, it's really hard to figure out, okay, this experiment is analyzed, but which instrument I used to do that? And uh, Spectrus.js does that uh, along with, of course, reporting the actual uh, process spectrum. And these are the same in other softwares, just like in Spectrus.js. So if someone is using another software right now to process the MR spectra and, and uh, switches to Spectrus.js, uh, the person will have no trouble using all these uh, keyboard shortcuts because they're almost identical. So I'm really happy that I didn't have to learn a whole bunch of new keyboard commands because they were the same commands I'm used to and uh, everything is implemented. So, you know, zoom and uh, baseline uh, uh, correction and stuff like that. So I got all the keyboard shortcuts uh, that I asked for during the beta testing and I've been using them ever since. And I personally like to have the structure and the table at the same time when I'm analyzing data, processing data. And some softwares don't allow, animal processing softwares don't allow users to do that. And uh, I love the table function. I, I love that I didn't have to write down a, a, on a piece of paper, create a table, or try to assign things to a structure. I loved how I could just import the structure really a drag and drop really easy. And I had the tables uh, real life uh, at the same time when I was processing the data and I could assign um, peaks to uh, atoms, to carbon or protons, and I could easily generate um, my table without uh, a headache of, of drawing it on a piece of paper or a word document. It's, it's just uh, so, uh, what's the word? Um, comprehensive. It's, it's just, it's, it just does everything at the same time that I need. And I don't have to worry about um, not being able to, to uh, connecting these features. Everything is on my screen. I can move the widgets the way I want. I can have multiple windows open. I can uh, I can uh, put uh, multiple spectra spectrum on the same page under each other, have the table open. I still have a lot of space for all the other windows and widgets. So I, I love the tables. I, it was one of my favorite features besides the uh, um, easy accessibility from, uh, from any browser.